Good morning, everybody. Every summer, the Ryan Neese Foundation takes a group of teenagers to the Dominican Republic. They are juniors and uh, from Pinellas and Hillsborough High Schools who commit to a year-long leadership program. Hundreds apply, but only 12 are selected each year. Well, this group, the teens, got back late last night after a week of construction, agriculture, public health, and so much more. They have given up a couple of hours of sleep to join us on Positively Tampa Bay this morning. And with them, of course, is their mentor, Ryan Neese from the Ryan Neese Foundation. We're going to go down the list because I want you to hear um, th what schools they're from. Can we start with you on the end? Just say your name and the school that you go to. Go ahead. Nettie Hillsborough High School. My name is Cameo and I go to Brooks Barlow Collegiate High School. Okay. My name is Kazdan and I go to Leonard High School. My name is Vishwa and I go to Hillsborough High School. Okay. My name is Juan and I go to Tampa Bay Technical High School. Okay. My name is New and I go to Largo High School. Okay. My name is Sydney and I go to Largo High School. Taylor and I go to HP Plant. Okay. Latoya and I go to Point City High School. Okay. Brendan and I go to Largo High School. Wow. A great cross section <laughs> from both counties. Um, Ryan, tell me quickly about this particular group and what was the aha moment? When you're in the Dominican Republic, they're doing all this community service. When did you say, wow, I picked the perfect group of kids? You know what? The aha moment for me, and I think it was for the entire group, was at the end of the day. Uh, the end of the trip, um, all the students decided to uh, take off their shoes and give their shoes um, oh, wow. to all the individuals that were in need. You know, so many individuals down there didn't have shoes and, or had sandals and they weren't really um, had the proper equipment. And our students stepped up and said, hey, we're going to give our own shoes um, as, as an act of kindness. And that was the type of generosity and the power of giving uh, that we want to see and that uh, our students demonstrated the entire trip and throughout mm. the whole program. That is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to pop out of here for a second, <laughs> and let me just sit down here on the floor. Okay, New, tell me about um, the whole goal of the program is to inspire everybody to keep doing community service. After doing this, what are you thinking of doing? Well, after doing this, I, I, um, I was truly inspired by all how, like as Ryan was saying, the whole shoe incident where we all took off our shoes and gave away. It was like dominoes, and there I really felt like the power of not only giving, but just how I felt a sense of sisterhood and brotherhood mm -hmm. with all the individuals there, and I felt really connected to them. There is no sort of difference between right. any of us. Thank you. Juan, real quickly before we go, what is your advice to teenagers out there watching? about I, doing community service. I think that my biggest advice is that sometimes we may think that as an individual we don't have what it takes to make the impact that is needed in the world but I think the biggest thing to keep in mind is that it always starts with one person and that's the biggest philosophy that we try to emphasize if not you then who. And who. Thank you so much for coming in. Congratulations everybody. Thank Have you. a great rest of the summer. You. If you would like to learn more about the Ryan Neese Foundation and the Student Service Program you can visit them online at ryan Nice Foundation.com. Thanks for watching, everybody.